Well, a week's gone by. I've been away in Spain having fun. Welcome guys to part three of Camper Van Build. Uh, Mel here from Mel's Motors. Um, if you missed parts one and two, links are below. Uh, they'll be up here in the end as well, so you don't miss out on those. Uh, this is where we got to last time. Uh, if you missed it, here's a quick recap. So now we're down to the plastics. So we're in the workshop. Um, Harley's here cleaning up and prepping the plastics. Uh, bumper, side panels, rear bumper, and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, you can't just paint plastic. They've got to be plastic primed. Uh, it's like a clear coating that goes on, almost looks like lacquer, but it isn't. It's uh, a special formulation that uh, literally sticks to the plastic and bonds to it and therefore you can paint on top of it um, some of the bumpers and trims have got mud behind them so Harley's just uh, using a, a, a plastic brush just to clean the mud off them so when you're painting and moving them around they don't crumble and then blow onto the paintwork so we're going to prep and paint these the last thing you want to do is watch me doing all this prepping and painting uh, whilst that's being done, uh, we'll show you the finished product in the end. But uh, to keep you guys motivated, I've got a whole list of stuff that I've bought. Uh, we've been buying them for the past couple of months and they're still packaged. We haven't opened a single thing to see what's in them, uh, whether they're bits for the camper van or bits for the workshop, because we haven't looked in any of the packages. Uh, there's a whole load to go through, so we'll head over to that and see what we've bought. So these are some of the bits that we've bought. I say some because it's our starting point. Um, some of the bits, uh, like this box here, this is, uh, this is a battery, there's three of those. I'm not gonna drag three here to show you three batteries. Um, things like this, this is a, sh a glass shower door. I'm not gonna be opening that up. Uh, the last thing I wanna do is have a piece of glass just sitting around, uh, not secured in its own box protected. So that's one thing we're not gonna open today. Uh, I've got glass for the sides, again that's over uh, by the wall there, that's going to stay there, I don't want to open up glass unless I have to, uh, they'll be opened up as and when uh, we move forward. So these are some of the bits, um, we'll start opening them up, go through what I've bought, uh, there's other stuff to buy still, the charging system, solar panels, um, but they're uh, expensive consumables that we, we are going to need at some point, but I don't want them don't want dead money sitting here until we need to buy them and use them uh, so I'll get a bench over here and then we'll open them one at a time and we'll see what we've bought right one Stanley knife a load of boxes it's gonna feel like Christmas again right these are just some plumbing bits for the shower tray uh, uh, window covers with suction cups um, I looked at getting the sliding window covers, but they were way, way too expensive. Uh, that's something you can upgrade later on in time if you really want to spend the money. But as of right now, with a budget, go cheap. Uh, tap set for the sink. So, um, I will put down some prices um, to show you what they cost uh, here, up in the corner. Bonding for the windows. <laughs> Okay, uh, these are level sensors uh, for the water containers, so we know how much water we've got. And also digital gauges tell us what's happening. A 
Okay, uh, armrests for the chairs. Because the chairs we've got, we've got no armrests in them. Uh, I've got four of these. Uh, stickers. Uh, water pumps. Uh, reason I bought three, I only need two. Um, for what they cost, it's a really good idea to keep one spare. Because if your water pump packs up whilst you're out and about, you can repair that uh, en route. External power. Ah, so. Um, this is a, a wheel hub, and um, there's a reason why I've got that. Uh, it will become evident later on uh, in the video. Uh, 12 volt electrical cable in. Uh, trim to go around the, the window frame once you've cut it to get rid of the, the sharp edges. Uh, quick release door lock, uh, door hinges. Um, difficult to see now, but there's a whole load of them in there. Uh, filling uh, water into two tanks um, with locks. So that'll be for one tank, and there's another one there for another. Uh, rear view camera, uh, this is probably the, the stoplight. Yep, the rear stoplight with a built-in camera. So you'll have a permanent rear view uh, to see what's happening behind you. Uh, battery. I think this was 110 amp hour. I've got three of these. Uh, it'll be a 12 volt system, but we're going to have three of these. Uh, they're going to run in parallel, which will still be 12 volts, but then it'll be 330 amp hour. Uh, expansion tank. Uh, it's not for the van itself. Uh, this will become more evident what we're going to use it for. Uh, we are going to have a hot water system on here. Uh, this is a crucial part of the system that I'll be using. Right, uh, this is a hot water heater. Uh, it's actually not for hot water for the shower system or the hot water for the taps. It's actually hot water for the engine, but we're going to utilise this to make our hot water for the, the domestic side. Uh, Hence why well, we've got the expansion tank is going to work with this. So once we get to that, I'll talk more about it. These trim clips, all those um, clips on the, uh, there's 150 here. But we need around 120 to, to uh, put all the trims back on. Uh, these are specific to those trims because they have a rubber seal on the edge. If it doesn't have that, as the rain comes down, it ends up in the seals rotting them inside out. So you've got to have the right clips. Uh, accumulators for the wood system, uh, they'll become more evident as we do the, the water side of the system. Uh, uh, okay, so this is the heater. There's plenty of videos out there for Chinese heaters. Uh, fuel tank. Well, I'm not going to be using that. Uh, there's a heater. So in the winter, we'll, uh, in the evenings, we'll have a heating system in there. Uh, these are more armrests. We've already seen one. So that's uh, the other three. So it makes four. Uh, 
uh, waterproof toilet roll holder. Uh, 12 volt lights with with a switch on the must switch. Um, these are for the uh, water tanks, so you can have an inspection, so you can see inside them. Oh, right, um, this is this is not part of the build. It's um, it's a router bit. It's an edge trimmer. Um, I may have to make some templates because, um, like in a house, you have uh, the walls are parallel to, um, to each other uh, on the van. They curve, so we're gonna have to make a template that's curved on the back edge, so whatever would be put on the side. Uh, so I'm gonna make a template, and then I'm gonna use this uh, edging bit to uh, mimic mimic the template we made. Uh, Oh, okay. This <laughs> this is not van related. Uh, th th these are templates for uh, different intake manifolds because we do um, a lot of mechanical stuff here. When your car starts to get sticky valves due to carbon buildup, uh, we have a walnut shop blaster, and when we clean up the um, the carbon from inside the intakes, uh, but we need a template to match the, the manifold shape. That's what these are. It's another inspection cover, same as the black one we saw. Copper pipe, uh, pipe for the plumbing system. We'll come on to that later. Plastic corner clips. Um, when we put the units and stuff in, uh, we're going for a grey theme, as you saw from the colour of the van. Um, these are going to be on the insides, uh, screwing the unit to the back wall. And I've also got plastic covers to cover them once that's done. A load of plumbing bits. These are going to be our water tanks. I'll explain to you how we're going to use these. Um, so if I explain the water stuff now, I can just leave it out of the way. Uh, two of these that we've lids on. Uh, they are about 60 litres each, I think. Sixty-two liters each, so you're not going to fill them to the brim, but they'll hold about fifty liters of water. <coughs> this here is waste water. That's self-explanatory. That's going to be underneath the vehicle. So whatever we use out those tanks will end up in here, and then we can drain them out from uh, taps on the side. Uh, little screw caps. Whatever we screw in, we can cover those up uh, with grey caps. Oh, these are fuse boxes, 12 volt fuse boxes. And a pack of fuses. So once we get the electrical system in, they'll go to a fuse box and then from here they'll be distributed to lights, water pumps, whatever we're gonna use it. Uh, two of those. Uh, LED flat spotlights, about 12 mil thick maybe. Again, fuse box will run these. Uh, these are spotlights. These are going to go in the back where the bedding and the seating area is, and they've got USB chargers in the bottom as well. Swivel plates for the seats. So. The bottom will bolt to the actual base, this will bolt to the seat, and then you'll have 360 seats. Oh, it's, um, it's a cooker. Uh, two ring hob, that one. Uh, for the heating system, we've got some extra duct pipes. Uh, some more edge uh, rubber for when the windows go in to stop the sharp edges cutting your hands. Uh, sticky insulation. 
with, uh, with silver back. So, a couple of those. Um, stickers for the side of the van. Oh, uh, this is for tables, uh, table tubing. So, we're going to have a table front and back. These are hoses for waste and filling up the water tanks. It's about 10 meters, 10 meters in there. Uh, roof fan and skylight. Good remote. It's in Lidl, some bathroom paint. Um, we are going to have a shower room in there. This isn't going on the wall, it's going to be for the ceiling because uh, this stuff plasticizes and it keeps the stops the moisture from damaging whatever uh, is behind it. So I was in there, it was cheap, so I got some. Ah, new mirrors. Um, these will need to be painted. But I'll think about that one. I may just leave them black. The ones I've got on the van are really broken. So these don't come apart. So if I paint it and then fold them back, you're going to see black bits. So I'll think about those for, paint, for painting. But as for now, they'll probably go on black. Well. Hope you enjoyed that. There's a lot of stuff that we need. There's a lot more stuff that we need. Um, again, with the electrical system, I'm using a Vic Victron system, uh, it will be uh, it'll be an inverter charger. Uh, it will take it'll take 230 from the grid, use it, power the van up, charge the batteries up. Uh, also, solar system, the solar system will go into it and also charge the batteries up and run the system. Uh, It'll be a 230 volt and a 12 volt system, uh, but everything goes through it. It's a smart system, you can Bluetooth it to your phone, it'll have a display. Um, it's quite a lot of bits to it. Uh, it's quite expensive, um, about £3,000 worth of bits, uh, plus cabling and all sorts of stuff like that. But once I get that, we'll talk more about it and we'll go through the process of fitting it to the van. Uh, as of right now, um, Harley's almost finished with the plastics behind you, so I'm going to uh, get those all cleaned up, plastic prime them, and then paint those. So, all the plastics are prepped. There's a lot of plastics on this one. We're up to here, the bumper corners and bits over here, and the rear bumper there. So, we're using um, U Pole uh, plastic primer here. Um, it literally is, uh, and put it in the gun and use it, that's it. It doesn't need to be thinned down or anything. Uh, I'm just using my cheap priming gun just to put uh, the plastic primer on. Uh, these plastics are so dirty, we've had to panel wipe them twice. Um, but mud really, really stains plastic, but um, it doesn't matter how much we clean it, none of it's coming off. Uh, <laughs> it's be part of the plastic. Um, these bumper corners are a little bit scuffy. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that. I just want to paint it, get the van back together. Uh, if they come out rough, um, I can just buy plastics later on, just repaint them and tip them back on. Uh, the rest of it's okay. Uh, slight mark on this one. Um, this had overspray on it from somewhere, but uh, that's going to be painted, so it's not an issue. Um, one of the bumper corners is a little bit scuffy. It's a few marks on there. And yeah, a little bit here. But at the end of the day, they're going to get scuffed anyway as a bumper. Uh, but I'll paint it. If anything looks really shabby, then you know, I'll just buy the replacement part and just repaint it. Now, if I get any runs on these, um, like if anything runs into this corner here, uh, around here, it's going to be so difficult to flat down. If I end up getting some horrible runs, that you really are going to see, unless it's on a flat piece here, I'm just going to buy another plastic and paint it again because you're just not going to get it out. This is textured, uh, it's just not great. So, any major runs, 
they're done for. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not uh, flattening them down. Uh, time to flatten them down and try and polish into these corners ain't going to happen. So um, if I do get some awful runs in there, I'm just going to buy plastic and repaint it. Because uh, there's no way you're going to get a mop in there to mop these back out once they've um, once they've run in there. But we'll see how they come out. The, the weather's a lot nicer today. It certainly isn't um, two degrees like it was last time. Uh, we're in double digits, so <laughs> hopefully they'll come out a little nicer today. Okay, I've got the door handles here. I'm going to paint these as well, um, but I need the handle off so I'll be able to paint around it properly. Um, the handle's only left uh, kept in with these pins. Um, got automatic centre punch. So what I'm going to do is just use it as a small hammer and punch the pins out. So now we can clean them up and paint them without the handle being in the way. So you saw how easy that was to strip. Um, this one here has got the pin at the top, which is accessible. We've got a very small pin here, which is part of the opening mechanism. So we need to pop this pin off as well, and um, and the top one. So it's bottom free. They're all the same handles, it doesn't matter if they get mixed up. Alright, uh, I can't paint these laying flat because the edges will stick to the board. Um, <laughs> we keep all these um, aerosol caps, they come in handy for all sorts of stuff, especially when we're doing bikes. But we don't throw them away, we keep them. Uh, and now it's going to come in handy, they're going to be spacers. Um, keep the panels off the deck so we can paint the edges so loads and loads and loads so we're going to get all these off the, the boards uh, these bigger bumper panels are right they're, they're okay because they're primarily off uh, and then I can just hold the bottom and just uh, blow the edges in so they're fine uh, the door handles uh, the, the bases we can paint those down but the handles I've had to hang up on my uh, transmission jack uh, I've taped the, the mast for more paint on there because as it goes down it will uh, it may damage the seal. Right, for now we'll um, elevate all these parts and then I'll get the, the primer on there. Okay, so I've been at this for about two and a half hours now. Uh, two coats of base coats on. Uh, they're all done. Uh, these are all done. Uh, the handles are done. Uh, well, the handle bases are done and the handles up here are done. So uh, this back bumper is really, really scabby. Uh, but I'll throw it on, see what it looks like. Uh, it was a van, so you know, you're gonna get marks on there when things are being dragged in and out of um, the backs of these vans it's the first thing to get punished is the rear bumper uh, most of it's looking okay so I've got the lacquer mixed up so that's going to be the last thing to do uh, I'll put the top coat on uh, and then I can lock up and bugger off home because there's nothing else I can do other than that um, I've been here since 8.30 now it's 2.30 so we've been on it for a while uh, Keep losing my Saturdays down here, so uh, wife's getting a bit peed off. So, uh, gonna get these lacquered uh, and then we'll probably call it a day for part three. 
Okay, all the panels are done. They're behind me, lacquered, no runs, which was fantastic. Uh, I've had to move them out of the way so and get some cars in so um, we can lock up and go home. Uh, whilst I was waiting for that to dry, I was flattening down the runs on the van and I over rubbed. Uh, yeah, so I've gone through to the white, which means I've got to paint this panel again. And also down here, I had a real big run. Uh, somewhere here, a bit difficult to see, but I've gone through the lacquer to, um, oh here, gone through the lacquer to the base coat, so this panel will have to be lacquered again. <sighs> Joys of body work. Anyway, uh, that's part three, um, stick around for part four. Uh, like I said, if you missed the other two, they'll be up here, um, have a look at those so you can catch up to where we are. Anyway guys, take care, see you soon.